Hello guys, Norris City Central here, back for another video. It's been a couple of weeks since I posted on the channel. Um, Jack did a match day vlog, I hope you enjoyed that from England. Um, hopefully football's coming home, but I'm just back here for another video, just talking about the sale of Josh Murphy and the kind of the summer recruitment and what we can expect from Norwich in the next couple of months. Um, if you do enjoy the video, please, please obviously like and leave some comments below. I will get back to you in the comments. This is an interactive channel and just leave me your thoughts about Josh Murphy and Cardiff fans. Let me let me know whether you're happy with him or not. But yeah, Josh Murphy has been sold to Cardiff for 11 million and I've got mixed feelings about it because Josh Murphy on his day is a fantastic player. I hold the opinion that when when he's when he's when he's playing at the best of his abilities, like a James Madison, he's a match winner. Um, when he's full of confidence, he can beat his man and he can score some great goals as well. We saw the goal against Aston Villa, that was a fantastic strike. But ultimately, the problem with Josh Murphy is he's not consistent enough and he's had you know, over 100 appearances for Norwich now. You expect him to show a level of cons consistency. Yes, he's a going glad, but you expect him to um, have kind of warmed to the occasion now and you expect him to be a better player and you know, just to, to, be, to have a bit more about him. But yeah, we're going to miss Josh Murphy, definitely. Um, you know, he scored scored 11 goals, four of them came in the League Cup, but 11 goals is a decent return for a winger. Three assists, not the best, but, you know, his statistics were good and he's going to be a player who's going to be missed, especially when you consider he's from Norwich. He identifies with the culture, he's a British player. But from a business point of view, you've got to be happy that Josh Murphy's leaving because 11 million is a fantastic bit of business for him. Um, you know, when you consider that, that fee in today's market, it's a great fee. And yes, Josh Murphy on his day is a match winner, but he doesn't sh he doesn't show that consistently enough. And um, you know, it's a great bit of business. Have Cardiff got a good deal? I think so. Um, on his day, he can be brilliant. But as I've said, if he's inconsistent and doesn't fit in with Neil Warnock's system, he's not going to be a success. Um, and I do question the move. This is going to sound a bit p uh, poor towards Cardiff, but I know Neil Warnock does like to play a style of football which is very defensive. I'm not quite sure Josh Murphy's going to suit to it, and I think he'd be better placed at a Bournemouth maybe. Um, but all the best to Josh Murphy, um, a British talent for £11 million, that's an absolute steal and, it's, and you've got to take that from a business perspective. So thanks for the memories, in particular the one against Arsenal. I remember my mum going absolutely mental when you, when you scored, so thanks Josh Murphy for the memories and good luck at Cardiff. Um, and in, in, your, in replacement of you, we've got in uh, Emi Buenda from, uh, uh, from Spain. He's an Argentinian playmaker, he's 21. So if you look at it, we, we've kind of replaced Josh Murphy with Emi Buenda. Yes, he can play in Cam, but Buenda will probably play on the right flank. And Buenda is a player who's got is very excited. He played in the second division of Spain last season, got six goals, but got 13 assists. And uh, our, our, our person who got the most assists last season was James Madison with seven. So he's definitely an assist maker, and we need someone who's going to be able to um, have end product in that quality, in that in that area to to give to a striker. So he's definitely going to be a good player, uh, an important player, because as I said, we do need someone to deliver that. Uh, end product in the final third and give chances to strikers um, and yeah he, he looks like a really good player um, and for 1.5 million it's a brilliant bit of business when you can if, if do you know what I mean if Josh Murphy was um, Spanish I'm sure he'd be um, going for a few million but to get a Mubo end up 1.5 million is brilliant and I do love the kind of philosophy in which we're buying players we're buying players who've got something to prove who are youngsters who are hungry for success and I think that can only bode well for the future um, and yeah I'm worried, is he going to fit in with the culture, but, you know, is he, going to, is he going to be able to adapt to this league, because he is quite a small player, but I definitely think he can, let's be honest, he's, he's going to have a whole pre-season ahead of him, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do in a Norwich City shirt, and yeah, replacing Josh Murphy with Emi Buenda tells me, as a fan perspective, that we are looking for foreign players, which I think is a good thing, when you consider the, the, the amount of money Norwich have got, I think it is good to look abroad, um, but it tells me which we're trying to get in youngsters, uh, you know, we're trying to replace youngsters and we're trying to get players who can really who really have a good impact at this club. I like the signing of Emi Buenda for Josh, and in, as a replacement for Josh Murphy. As I've said, he'll be on lower wages um, and, he, and just like Josh Murphy, he's going to have something to prove and I wish him all the best. Um, obviously, having English players and sending them on means you can get a lot more money and a lot more profit. Do you know what I mean? If we sell on Emi Buenda, I don't think we're going to get 11 million for him. Whereas if you have a British player like Josh Murphy, you will. But um, honestly, I think Brenda's going to be an exciting talent and if we can recruit a couple of maybe British players 
um, who you know in a couple of years time could potentially go for that fee of 15 million I think it's going to be great business for Norwich we're going to sell probably James Madison as much as they don't want us to we're probably going to sell, sell him for a fee of 20 to 25 million and hopefully we can use that money to stop some of the debts um, use some of it for the short term future to get some transfers in maybe spend 5 million to look on a striker but ultimately as well you save some of that money for the long term future and then hopefully we can kick on and this model can be very sustainable where we can have finances for the future to you know, get us towards the playoffs. I think as a short term aim, I think we should be pushing for the playoffs, but we shouldn't use all of our money to try and get there. Let's, let's save for the future and create a sustainable model. Thank you for watching. Josh Murphy leaves Cardiff. We've replaced him with Emmy Buenda. Please leave your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to Norwich City Central and I'll see you later.